It is cold. We are surviving. We are surviving the uh, winter freeze of 2021 here in Texas. Um, please pray for Texans. There's a lot of people without power, a lot of people suffering. Um, keep them in your prayers. Okay. What am I making today? Well, um, I wasn't sure. I'm limited on supplies. I did stock up on Saturday anticipating this freeze, but I'll be honest, we really did not expect it to do what it did. I mean, we kind of thought it might, but we just don't get weather like this in Texas. So we were pretty skeptical, but thankfully I did stock up on quite a few things, so we've been fine. But I was kind of like, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? Well, something in the crock pot warm just sounded good to me. So I did find a chili recipe. Um, I don't have everything I need to make the full recipe, but I'm going to cut it in half because it's just me and Scott. It makes five servings. I'm going to link the recipe, and if you do it just as prescribed in the recipe, it will make five servings, five lean and greens. It's not a full lean and green. You have to add a green to it. Um, it's chili. You have to add a green to it to make a full lean and green. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna roast some broccoli and have that probably with my midday fueling. I'm getting this ready now. I haven't even, it's like not even 11 o'clock, but it's gonna slow cook in the crock pot all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started now. Okay, so this is what it consists of. This recipe comes from Sandy's Kitchen. I've got my lean ground beef that will actually be a leaner. She calls for the lean uh, to where you don't add any healthy fat, but I always use the leaner, and so I will be adding a healthy fat, either some cheese or sour cream to the end result. Um, it also calls for tomato sauce. I do not have any tomato sauce, so I'm going to use this Rayo's marinara, hoping it will be okay. <laughs> he counts the tomato sauce as a green, so I know a fourth cup of this will work. Um, bell pepper, lots of spices, and then one can, which I'm gonna half this because I'm making half the recipe, but one can of diced tomatoes, which is also a green. And then lots of spices, uh, salt, which I have over there, and pepper, and chili powder, cumin, and garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna ground the ground beef, I'm gonna brown the ground beef up and chop up my um, peppers. We'll get this all in the crock pot. I'm grounding up I keep saying that, I am browning up. I am browning up the hamburger meat with the bell peppers. And, you know, I just thought about this. This, I'm, I'm halving this recipe and I'm putting it in a huge crock pot. <laughs> um, I hope that's okay. I hope it, you know, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. Probably just won't have to cook it as long. It's okay, we wouldn't mind an early dinner. Not this early, but. You know, and you can eat your lean and green any time of the day, so maybe we'll have it for lunch. You brown this up, and while this is browning, I'll get all my other ingredients ready. Okay, everything's ready to throw into the crock pot. And I did make one little mistake. Um, I said I was gonna half this. Um, actually, the recipe calls for two cans of diced tomatoes, so it's a whole can that I'm gonna use. Um, and like I said, I'm not using tomato sauce, I'm using Rayo's because that's what I have. All right, so let's dump it all in here and get this thing turned on. Okay, here is my ground beef. And I browned it and put my um, bell peppers in there with it. Just went ahead and cooked the bell peppers with it. A whole can of diced tomatoes. And remember, I'm halving this recipe. It calls for a half cup, fourth of a cup of tomato sauce. And now comes all the spices, a little less than a half of a teaspoon. Half teaspoon of garlic, so let's do a fourth of a teaspoon. tablespoon plus one teaspoon of chili powder. So I'll do a half of a teaspoon and a half of a tablespoon. It's the chili powder. Half a tablespoon of chili powder. 
a half teaspoon of cumin or cumin, however you say that. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I think I got everything. Okay. All right, it's all in there. Put this a little closer so you can see it. All right. It's all in there, and I'm just going to stir it up. You know, everything is already cooked. So you're just, I guess, marrying all the flavors. Oh, it smells really good, y'all. But like I said, the recipe would be doubled, and this is a big crock pot, so I'm probably not gonna have to cook it near as long. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on low. It says to cook for five to six hours, so I'll probably be checking it at about two and a half hours. I love crock pot meals, you guys. For one thing, it's easy. You put it in, you turn it on, you forget about it, and then several hours later, dinner. Love crock pot meals and it also makes your house smell really good while it's cooking. Um, I want to talk to y'all for just a second since we have time because uh, this is going to be a pretty short video um, about your lean and greens. Um, I've been having this discussion with some of my clients. So um, most of the time when I do these lean and greens, I'll do things like casseroles or recipes, you know, that kind of thing for a couple of reasons. I want to give y'all some variety. And I also, it's, you know, the entertainment factor. It would be pretty boring if all I ever did was grilled chicken and green beans. But what I want to tell you as a coach to a client, um, the simpler you keep it, the better as far as reaching your goals. Now, that's not to say you can't enjoy some of these things. That's why I put this out here because this is a lifestyle change. This is not a one and done situation. Okay, and so if you're going to make this a lifestyle change, which is what it should be, not a diet, then, you know, it has to be, um, there has to be enough variety, you know what I mean? So, because you're going to be doing this forever. So that's the reason I put these out here, but I want to caution you not to do this type of food every single day. You know, do keep it simple. Salads, you know, protein, greens, protein, greens, for one reason, this is really the only reason, honestly. Um, well, no, I'm gonna give you two reasons. Usually when I do, like you just saw me, I used all my condiments for the day. All my condiments for the day are in there, okay? So that means I have to be really careful all day not to use condiments. Sometimes that's hard to do. So that's one reason I, I say do this sparingly. The other reason is this. When you do these type of things, you're throwing everything in one pot and then you're portioning out your serving. That's not real precise, so you might be coming up a little short on protein or veggies, or you might be going a little over on one of those things. Um, I don't think it's enough to throw anybody out of fat burn or anything like that, but we do know that this program is based in science, and so the more precise we are about it, the better our results. So that's just my little coach disclaimer. I want y'all to understand that I want you to enjoy your food. I want you to get creative with your food, but I also want you to keep it simple, balance. It's always about balance, okay guys? All right, I'm gonna go let this cook and go on with the rest of my day, and I don't know, we'll either have it for lunch, depending on when it gets ready, or we'll have it for dinner, an early dinner. All right guys, I hope y'all are having a good day. I'll see you back here in a few seconds. This chili got done and took about four hours, you guys. And so, yeah, it smells really good, but it's been done for a few hours. We, we could have had it for a late lunch, but we decided we would save it for dinner. That's right. And so I just kept it on warm. It makes a nice portion. It's a cup and a half um, is the serving size. Scott has a little bit more than that because I split the recipe so it actually made like two and a half servings because the recipe actually makes five servings. Oh, he, al wow. he also has a little more cheese. I, we used a leaner, a leaner ground beef instead of the lean that she has in the recipe. So I've got some low fat um, cheese. He's got some full fat oh, cheese. My shirt. <laughs> We're gonna dig into this, y'all. Yeah. I mean, warm chili on a very cold day. Although this is not the coldest no, that we've had. This is by a any spring like day. I mean, now I understand, I'm, like in Minnesota, when it gets thirty, it's like spring. The way you say after Minnesota. negative. Huh? You say Minnesota. Minnesota. Like, like you're from. <laughs> How is that? Oh, and y'all look. Yeah, he, when you've been over, you can see it. he's finally letting me have a fire. So, it's been so cold this week, you know, and I have wanted a fire in the fireplace so bad, and he's not let me have one because 
so many people have been losing their power. And so we, you know, it could have been us. And so he's been hoarding that firewood, the smart man that he is, just in case. Just in case. You heard it. I got it off tape. Now. Well, he is a smart man. You, you tasted it. How is it? Excellent. You didn't even put any of your cheese on well, it. Well, no. I'm put, I put my cheese on mine. I'm going to try it with the cheese. Here we go. Was it hot? I'm already cheesy. Yes, you are. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It is very good. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Mm. It's a little spicy. A lot of chili, chili powder. Okay, you do. I bet it's good. It's perfect for a cold day. Hey, we're going to go eat our chili. We hope y'all are staying warm um, and y'all are safe. And uh, y'all just pray for all those people out there, not just in Texas, but uh, people in Oklahoma, people all over the country that yeah. are suffering right now. 73%. 73%? We're covered by snow this last storm. 73% of the country is covered by snow. Now, a lot of the country is prepared for that. And, and they, you know, they're handling it very well. But we Southerners, we are not prepared for it. And so, unfortunately. But um, anyway, but everybody's doing okay. Everybody's doing okay here. So, I'm going to go eat our chili. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a really great day. And um, hopefully, once our mail starts running again um, and we can get out on the roads, I can bring y'all some new videos. Because I've got so many boxes on the way. <laughs> but... They're stacked up at we, the office. Yeah, it's Thursday, and we have not gotten mail since last Saturday. So, yeah. So. so, that saying of rain, sleet, snow, or shine. That doesn't apply in Texas. Not in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. That, that, That's definitely. okay. Hey, you know what? They could they, Better I'm be sure. safe than sorry. Well, and you know what? I'm going to say this. What they've been through for, with 2020, I'm sure they're not minding the break if they're getting one. I hope they're getting one. I doubt they are. But anyway, all right, guys, we're going to go eat our chili. Y'all have a great day. Y'all yeah. stay safe, stay well, be blessed. We'll see you next time. We're out. We're out. One more shot of that fire. Oh, that's so Man. Bad.